degenerative disc disease. That's another way of saying arthritis in the spine. It happens with age. We're all prone to it, some more than others. Typical symptoms associated with degenerative disc disease are back and neck pain. In the neck, it can radiate out into the shoulders. In the low back, it can radiate into the buttock or into the hip area. Associated with degenerative disc disease is arthritis in the joints in the back. Those are called facet joints. You might hear your doctor talk about a facet arthropathy. That's arthritis in the joints in your spine. That could be in the neck, that could be in the low back, and that usually hurts. That could be treated with medication, anti-inflammatory medication, sometimes steroid injections. When those things fail, a surgical treatment of the joint itself may be necessary and very successful. Another finding with degenerative disc disease is collapse and arthritis of the disc space itself. Bone spurs form, these can press on nerves, these can take up space in the spine and can be associated with another condition that we call spinal stenosis. So those bone spurs don't necessarily hurt, but if they press on a nerve or take up space that are normally enjoyed by the nerves, then the problem exists. If conservative treatments don't help, then surgical intervention is frequently necessary. Now, we don't cure arthritis, but we try and tip the scales back in your favor such that the joints don't hurt or don't hurt as much or the nerves enjoy more room and then they function better and feel better. The overall effect is to reduce your pain level.